But Gunther's in-ring celebration, you missed that. He was celebrating and he had the big columns in the ring and the, the whole set dressing and the ominous music and intro by his stooge Kaiser Wilhelm. And if Gunther wasn't the size he is, and the height and the weight, he would be Dick York's twin brother. He comes out in a black suit with a white shirt and a black tie. He's He's got the... It, it's not a nerd face, but it is, but not on that body. He looks like a narc or a U-boat captain or all the things that you wouldn't f***ing like, right? Dick York. And Dick York. And then he, and he opens his mouth and his first sentence is in German. And it, it just so... Again, what a great heel for any era. Was Dick Sargent the original fake diesel? Yes. Now that you put it that way, <laughs> I agree with I agree with you. I see what you did there. But anyway, so the as soon as he starts talking, he said the you know he knocks all of the legends. He's the greatest, and he's running out of competition. Shoosh music. And now when Gable comes out, he's still got the music, and he's still got the fat guy and the girl with him. But he's doing a promo now as a sympathetic baby face. Right. And Gunther says, well, you got something to say to me. Come in and say it to my face. And Chad's doing. He's doing a good job remembering the material, but it was an element of memorized recitation and he needs a little more emotion and inflection because it was it was flowery verbiage that they had written for him and given him about how Gunther made his kids cry. And it lit a fire under him. But if he could have told that in his own real words, it was a great story. But I've, apparently either he can't do that or they insist on, you've got to read this fucking pablum. So, but then, I don't know what to think because Chad Gable, the new babyface, swore to God on television that he's going to win that title and make his daughter smile. And that means that they're either going to have Gable beat Gunther for the Intercontinental title, or they, they've violated every rule of professional wrestling history for the last 125 years, and he's going to look like a complete dick. Which one are you betting on? I mean, they seem to be setting it up so he has to win, because... Unless he loses and it turns him into like a nutcase or something, which is a part of a bigger bad angle, <laughs> unless it causes something like that, he has a mental breakdown, he kind of has to win. And, you know, maybe it is time for Gunther to get past the Intercontinental title. There's a reason why so many of the great, well, before a title started changing hands rapidly, you hold the Intercontinental title a year, give or take, and you move on to the bigger and better things. Well, yes, in the in the previous generations, when the here's the problem: they're so lacking in top talent, which is why CM Punk is, you know, as we talked about, the only free agent on the market that would make a difference in that company. I know that we now we've been told that Baron Corbin once beat Roman Reigns, which would you know short circuit everybody's brain cells if it happened now. But how long will it be before we're able to forget if Gunther and fucking Brock Lesnar are goddamn going at each other? And yeah, the only person to beat Gunther in the last fucking however many years is Chad Gable. Again, if it comes out of this and they change the way he's being used, where he still has some of the stupid Vince McMahon elements, but he's treated like a serious wrestler, talk seriously. You see him out there with his crying family. If this is the beginning of a new way they're going to use him and it lasts a little while, then you don't even think about it. You just move on and Guther's doing something else. You're not going to be like, oh, Guther, I can't take him serious against Brock because Chad Gable beat him. I think if Chad Gable's still used right, no one's going to care. Yeah, we'll see. 